together again in your house where we take pleasure just to pray. This is what the Holy Ghost will do for you. Hallelujah. What a great thing that we are here together. We have uh, Pastor Bujan all the way from Makoni. Not even Dara in his time. From Resape Makoni. Let's put our hands together and welcome Pastor Bujan. We have all the way from Matebelelin uh, region now, not City Hub one. Is that not so? Mama Bishop Nyati. Let's put our hands together for her. Who else? Who else is far from far? We just want to. Oh, from Plumt, we didn't see you. I all the way from Plumt. These people are coming from far. Put your heads together for them. You guys, the way you are sitting, you are not balancing. Could you change one, two, three, four? Come and sit here as well, so that we are spread evenly. Thank you. Row five up. What? Yeah. Thank you. Clayton as well, and GU, we haven't seen them for some time now. Uh, is it, oh, maybe I was away myself, yeah. Let's put our hands together for these two. How are the babies? The babies are fine. You don't pick phone if you try to phone me. Hey. Sorry? You what, sorry? Oh, it's good. Anybody else, if it's your first time here, people come here on Tuesday. If it's your first time here, please, just lift up your hands on this Tuesday meeting. We just want to give you a special welcome. Who's here first time? Tuesday. You, you may have been here Sundays, but Tuesday, this is your first time. Oh, I see a hand where, oh, come through, come and come be close to us here. Let's put our hands together for her. Who else? Did I see a hand somewhere else other than her? Where? Oh, yeah. Come, come, the two of you. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Thank you. Come here. Just pass through here. Thank you. How are you? This is your first time on Tuesday, but you've come on Sunday. It's a miracle that you came. Where do you live? How am I? Okay, so uh, how come you're here? You commute anyway for work. You, you drive every, every Monday to Friday. Yeah. You stay. You decided to come here. Ah. What is your name? Fazila. 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 Put your hands together for Fazila. We appreciate you. Thank you. What do you do at home? You, <laughs> you're a minor. Oh, that's a minor. I'm going to say, gold. I'm going to say, Thank you, Vazila. We appreciate you being here. It's a lot of effort to come from there. Thank you. And yourself? And from, I see Mama Jati there. You are steady. Are you connected? Mm. On Sunday, we talked about that, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. All right. Mm. But to come on a Tuesday, thank you for coming. We bless you. Thank you. Come again. Make this church your church. Leave it. Alright. Thank you. We are Thank you. Thank you. You can pass through there. Thank you. Oh, I can join more. These days, child discipleship has it Thank you. May God bless you. Please take your seats. Acts 2, let's read. Verses 1 to 4. And then 41 to 47. 
I hope you are carrying your Bibles. If you are not, please check on Monday that Spirit of Church on the screen, and then we can all read it together. Yeah, move fast, Bazalon. We are, we are, we are, we are, Bazalon. Yeah, move faster. Thank you. You are sitting on this row. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. Can I read that? May I greet as well the regulars here? Just in case we speak up, say what I'm about to buy a chant. I'm going to be able to stand up with a church here, Kopich. I'm going to be able to be a church here. I'm going to be able to be a church here. Thank you. Thank you. Let's read. Remember, we are talking about the characteristics that brought growth to the church of Jerusalem. Yeah, let's read. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one what? One accord. You must put in your spirit that word, one accord, in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting verse 3, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues, like as of fire, and it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterances. Verse 41, because now they are one, they are in one place, in one accord, in one heart, in one, one spirit. Verse 41, then those who gladly received his word were baptized. They were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. And verse 42, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. That is the teaching of the word and fellowship. Uh, fellowship is good, is that not so? And in breaking of bread, breaking of bread, speaking of focusing on Jesus, speaking and talking and focusing on Jesus, and in prayers, prayers are crucial. And the Bible says, and fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together, uh, were together and had all things in common, and sold their possessions and their goods, we say this Sunday is giving Sunday. Is that not so? We are following that part of the scripture. Please bring any item, be it a small thing, big thing, money, jersey, dress, tie, suit, and give someone, someone perhaps that you don't interact with more often, and bless them with to fulfill that scripture. Say amen. How many are going to fulfill that scripture? Yeah, we are Kanyalo, Kangichum. And they continued, verse 46, daily, there's that word again, in one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house. They did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. I want to give you Ten characteristics that brought growth to the early church. Ten of them. Here is number one. These men and women were relational. Relational. In other words, they loved to get into relationships, get to know each other, fellowship, and talk to each other. Relational. You will see one word that clearly indicates that this church was so relational that if you walked into this church or that particular church, you will feel at home. It's very important, Bazalwan, when someone is new, walks in here, they feel like, you know what? These people act as if they know me. When we do that, you'll find that they will want to come again. People have no friends outside. So when they come to the house of God, they should find good friends here. They could find someone who will say, hi, how are you? How are you doing? How was your day? And so forth. Practice with your neighbor right now and say, how are you? How are you doing? And what is your name? Mm. What is your name? So they were relational. 
where do I find that? I will read a few scriptures for you so that you will see this one word, one accord. Say one accord. Acts 1 verse 14. It reads, these all continued with one accord in prayer and in supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Say one accord. Touch your neighbor's shoulder gently and say one accord, Moana. One accord, one accord. What a church. I would have loved to belong to such a church. Acts 2, verses 1 and 46. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, again they were all with one accord in one place. Watch verse 46. Verse 46 says, so continuing daily. Can you imagine their church was daily? When we are on a Sunday, Tuesday, these people, <laughs> these people were in church daily. Mm, daily. 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 So ten years to bishop, you have to preach along. Yes, that is our eight. It's cut in the people more to two more to in the keep a lina more for every suit. Okay, you said, Say one accord. Come, gentlemen, come and take your seat. Say one accord. One more time. Say one accord. And they continue daily with one accord in the temple. In the temple. And breaking bread from house to house. So they had home groups as well. And they ate from house to house. Man, you know, God, the parents in here. I invite you to join with you. I'm not going to be a new guy. 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 Katizim taking the fillet last week. Katizim still taking the fillet with the eye. Katizim church by the only eye. Baby, I'm not trying to crazy. Check out. Breaking bread from house to house. They ate their food with what? Gladness and simplicity of heart. Baby, I'm show you off. You're going to simplicity. Come and see what you do. By the way, you want to tell me what you're going to do. This was specially imported from America. It can't be a Persian calf. A Persian not calf, a Persian. Persian rag. Persian rag. I want to be a calf. We also want to be a calf. We want to be a calf. We want to be a king size. Hey, hey. He's not a good, but I'm from the maybe two of a king size a bedroom. But I don't want to know. Yeah, it's don't need a bathroom. It is a new spoon. I I saw simplicity of heart. Yeah, I see you. Leon, so Zobi Zumun to Jehutu Zomisha and we are Kubega pen with what simplicity of heart. One accord, say it with me. One accord. Acts 4, verse 32. Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart. That's the same way. Were of what? One heart and one soul. Neither did any say that any of the things he possessed was his own. I'm a jewelry scripturalist. I'm a jewelry scripturalist. i I'm a a a Hey, one soul, neither did any say that any of the things he possessed was his own, 
but they had all things in common. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm so good. 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 Now, this church, despite their foreign racial background, despite their different tribes, different standings in society, these guys were known as a one church. <laughs> Mean a true church is a church that is the rich people and the poor people together. <laughs> Because the rich people will cause the poor to be elevated. Uh -huh. And the rich people will be balanced when they see how sober the poor people live. So together, Uhamba Gunjan. Aba Fundilega, Kulabala, PhD or VHD, Bethanganala, Abangala VHD. That's what this church was like. It was a dynamic church. They remain virtually unanimous in everything they did because they were led by the Holy Spirit. In other words, there was unity in diversity. Say amen. What is Singabesichian Gukoga? Singabesichian Lapis. Babena Koto Lava Sarana. Babena Pumeko story Chepucha. Manjo in your Koto Lam Zalwan. We are kind of merely minutes of which is a lap every Sunday, every Tuesday, and Tuesday. We may enjoy overdrive, which is a good job. But we will come, damn Salon. May you be vibrant in the name of Jesus Christ. So there was vibrance. The early church radiated an enthusiastic happy the word with gladness. When I went on, Segele Mancho, my Ruson Dili. But this church received the word with gladness. Say it with me, say gladness. There is another verse there, continuing, verse 46, daily with one accord in the temple, breaking bread, house to house, they ate their food. With what? With gladness. What a church. What a vibrant church. If you join this church, you would want to belong. But they ate a joke with cook. We are going to see cook to vibrate. Hey, this cook to vibrate. Our food to vibrate. We are Chabula and Jumtua Kuna, Nai Midelapana, Umazamon, who little Joe Wins on Cooklapan were short. Hey, we are Chabula Valita, but it is a ten and a half. As you and Mrs. Cook, I was in Kena, Tege, I ate and I ate the Pesul. Hey, they are getting born. All my stories are true. All my stories are true. Amen. So, sing a tata wing, man, he vibrates. If you see yourself being missed by people when you're not around, you know you're vibrant. Yeah. They are missing that element in you. But when you are humble, this one after three months, you are good. Ah, can you see what I'm saying? When I go to the club, I will get you. But when I go to the once, I get you. Wow, wow, wow. One of them is you. One of them is but Nangi Patabanja, don't eh? Catesum to be on Yenis, the rap on your sand. What to pick it, Yarako? Ye come to be a young Zucha if a rapper. Eh, men are not very true. 
You know, we take it for granted. gift. first week But I look forward. Let's put our hands together for Brigade here. So, Brigade here, we missed you. And then, I should have missed you, but we're now, we're now, we missed you. We missed you. Nale angas, baza kuluma bany, but apan. Say amen. What a vibrant church, ladies and gentlemen. Acts 11, verse 23. When he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad. Hey, but we tell you, and encourage them all that with one purpose of heart they should continue with the Lord. What a vibrant church. Acts 13 verse 48. Now when the Gentiles heard this, even the Gentiles, we are so glad. See a chabulu tinga utola iche change is Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is not easy. The economics of Zimbabwe is not easy at all. But if you walk into a place and find a glad people, Talk to your neighbor and say, I'm so glad. Yeah, touch their shoulder and say, Hey, I said I'm so glad. Abanye babu ya be wachama hora move is ebusu. Babu ya be ngachabula. Banga figala po kumele babu nu tu ya glad. Say amen. Abanye babu ya liwe ngabom randa babu. It's a long slang for 1964. What to Miranda? Hey, hey, hey. We are this normal. 1965 is slang. So, I'm going to tell you about the church. I'm going to tell you about the church. But, I'm going to find us glad. Lift up your hands and say, I'm so glad. One more time, I'm so glad. Jesus saved me. One more time, I'm so glad Jesus saved me. Sugman, Sugman, one more time. I'm so glad that Jesus saved my life. I am so glad that I'm well in body, in mind, in spirit, in my soul. Everything about me is whole and complete. Every part of my body functions in the perfection in which God created it to function. In this body, I forbid any malfunction in the name of Jesus. Every organ from my heart to my liver to my pancreas to my intestines and all other parts I can't mention they are functioning in the perfection in which God created them to function. Put your hands together like the devil is a liar. Hey, please take your seats. The people were a glad people, full of vibrant joy. And therefore, they were magnetic. They could attract people. We're talking of growth. We're talking of church growth. These are key things. Evangelism was one thing. But these are meant for one and one, for visitors that come in. When we act like that, things are going to change. I must say I was greeted mightily this Sunday. I think I noticed Sunday. Sipu, sipu nga. Hey, na mi nusip. Nibe lugu six pela three three. Aba ni ngovan. Hi, Natasha upi. Hi, not the other one, the other Natasha. What a group! I tell you, oh ngau bingi lulu ngavan tulaban. We afunu gubu ya. Mi na lami fru te lugu chwe ni chechi na le. Katu gu chwe no jadi. Gulo mjolo ma four min. Lami ibe member lab. So the people were glad, full 
of vibrant joy. Number three, they were reverent. Now, reverent is not the person who wears a collar, no. The word reverent means they had holy fear, holy awe, holy respect. Can you see one thing? At times, you can't put these two words together. You can't put the vibrancy with holy fear. They don't go to end in end. Yeah. But their vibrance, their gladness did not make them irreverent. Huh? They knew how to balance. Hey, I put high and cool, cool. I, I, no. They knew exactly to be joyful in the Lord, but to maintain holy fear at the same time. Watch this balance. What's this balance? Give me scripture. Holy fear came upon every soul. Acts 2 verse 43. Then fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done. Now that fear is not fear as you would know fear. It's not fear like fearing a reptile, a snake, or in just yesawa ngabantu, omanko yeba mnyama. No. This was holy reference. They feared and respected and honored God. Acts 5. Especially when God did this in Acts chapter 5. Verses 5, 11 and 13. Verse 5. Then Ananias, hearing these things, these words, fell down and breathed his lust. So great fear came upon all of them. Yes, Katsune, so Ananias, it's not that they put, they failed to put all the money. No. It's that they lied. That they pretended to be putting all the money. And they died. Hey. While there was gladness, so balance. Can you imagine? Only the table in Jagan Lapan and the Sukumilagates, then only a deep and say, but you are good, Tino Bechabul. I could watch a little off it, but Bechabula Jud, Kulukulum Kulukul. A Pongola want to Kulukul. Labo Pongola want to Ikapu. Mr. or Mrs. What are you going to do? Mr. Hey, I chabulu Mr. I chabulu Mr. Pito se mbuzguti. Little ni so hindo kena onchele ako. Ugutin chole se no stengi zile yo imani so kisi. Ugutin ya little ni so si. Puh, what's wrong with the pants? Umfazi, where is your shopper? Where is your kene supermarket? Mwabu ya vazi wa fazad. Where is your bile? Where is your bile? Where is your bile? Where is your bile? It's a visit to pay. How could any shop buy that day? You can't buy. It's a nice shop. Oh, we had to hear it. Hey, hey, kukuruz. Look what one guy got to learn is that woman is going to put a fashion in a kilo and a bus by one inch. What I am going to learn, we are going to judge it. Let's cut to the lazy and not never. We are going to do something. We are going to do something. Oh, Peter, I'm born and I'm born in Kon. One gain, oh, Peter, sit so tell a mamma of ways, chilla chilla, eh? Angazo mamma ampacha, chee. One booze, Babu Petruti. Can't you? Little is so inutility. What did little is so civil? Little is so stings it, eh? Stings it. B, pans. Tobasha Babata, Abatina, Abanyavant, Bashaba Tataba, and Wab. I must go in Swaja and go early, early church. Ababuza is so bo, Abasanganang of Ukala and my Tuesdays. It's Wednesday, Wednesday. We pay the laguliti. Let's go to the conapo. Conapo, conapo. Joe Mutuama Retro. Conapo, conapo. But you have a job of us. I would am troubles. I would get this in Mobis Nimizen. It is Nimizet who can be chat. Won't come to a sub. Then fear came. Ananias hearing these words fell. Let's read verse 11. So great fear came upon all the church and upon all who heard these things. Next verse. Yet none of the rest dared to join them, but the people esteemed them highly. Say Amen. Acts 9, verse 31. Then the churches throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and were edified. Walking in what? Walking in what church? In the fear. Walking in the fear of the Lord. And in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. But watch this word, church court. They were what? They were what? 
they were multiplied. They are no longer being added. Multiplication has kicked in. The church is growing. Mama the church is growing. Say amen. They were multiplied. What a church in Jerusalem. This was an intense awareness of God's awesomeness. Number four, they were focused. <laughs> focused on Jesus. Nothing could move them. Just focused on Jesus. When you are focused on Jesus, I they were focused. But They were focused. Let me show you the word that shows that they were focused. The word is steadfast. Write it down. Say steadfast. They continued steadfast. Acts 2, verse 42. And they continued steadfastly. Where? In the apostle doctrine or teaching and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in what? In prayers. What a church. Acts 7 verse 55. It is the same focus that caused Stephen not to feel stones thrown at him. Now watch this. They are killing the guy. The guy is not feeling that they are killing him. Hey. When about you yes, what about you? But he never felt the pain. Watch it. Let's prove it. Acts 7, 55. But he being full, he being what? Full of the Holy Spirit. Gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And you know what he said? Let lay not this charge upon them. Never did he scream, No. He saw Jesus. <laughs> hey. What a man. He saw who? Jesus. If you want your problems to be minimized, see Jesus. If Jesus is magnified, everything else around you is minimized. If you focus on your problems, Jesus in your life will be minimized. Your problems will be magnified. Try it every time when you have a problem. Don't focus on what you don't have. The money that you don't have. Focus on Jesus, the giver, and everything else. There used to be a song that we used to sing. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look in his wonderful eyes. And all these things will grow Strangely dim. Strangely dim. As you focus on Jesus. As you focus, say focus. Say it one more time, say focus. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. Don't look at anybody. Unga kageli menya au kambi. I menya ba magnified. Unga kageli uba buchele mamuchele. Uba buchele ulama limitations. But if you pass through uba buchele and look unto Jesus, I go and get na go onke one plus one go by two. Looking unto Jesus. Say it with me. Say I'm looking unto Jesus. I one more time. Say I'm looking unto Jesus. One more time, say, I'm looking unto Jesus. You may say the unemployment. You may say hardship. But if you shift your gaze and look unto Jesus, 
Because you are fixed unto Jesus. Say Amen. Lift up your hands and say, I am looking unto Jesus. Look, Apostle Paul, Acts 14, verse 9. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul observing him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed. This man was so focused until he got healed. Say, Amen. Hallelujah. So this describes their constant focus on these four things. A, B, C, and D. These four things. They would focus on the word. There's nothing that will lift you up more than the word. That's why you must have a Bible. All new people here have a Bible. Because the Bible will help you to focus. But they were focused on fellowship. Don't run, please. This particular one is Sunday. bullet train. Stay. Fellowship. Find five people. One of them you may need. Hey, or they may need you. Talk to them. Fellowship. Covenant meals. Hey, Genesis is cool as you want to covenant meal. Mind you, these days, even in China, but these days, so on, auntie. You can invite someone in space. No one from Upeg. It's cheap, you mean, Just come and join me in space. Very good. Yeah, I'm a musician that I'm getting a gang. Went you two weeks ago. Hey, I get a gang by Chai Gang. But if Nikago would be so jealous, you would be picking them caught to a nanti. You go, woman, work on. Would you navigate a good band of a messenger? I, I, I. Minaringo <laughs> Hey, but I as us. Mm. So, an intercession. So, prayer was key. Prayer meetings were very key. Look at how many we are on a Sunday. Turn around and look at how few we are. Bang up, Bang up. I'm a musician. I take two to Namta Jungle, but Zambuli is Sunday. Let's give us a good year standing up here in Sunday. Who pay Zico and Namta? Tend to your neighbor, my musician, and as I would, Kunjan is giving us a cosiabo, who to Uzile Church. Hey, number five, they were unselfish. They were what? Unselfish. I will read scripture for you to see how this church was a mature church. Yet young church, but very mature. Unselfish. Listen to this, Acts 2 44. Now all who believed, all who did what? All who did what? Were together and had all things in common. These were newly born again. Kongasoma veteran jengan. Newly born again. They decided, you know what? What I have, I must share. But the lazy koko was your calculator. Ah, we share. Ah, we share. Ipela. Says the eight dealers. Yeah, yeah, the meds. Like, as I feel, like, all level. Hey, churches, yeah, yes. 
<laughs> they had all things in common. All things in common. They could identify a need. That's why I'm teaching you here. Bring something to bless someone. You are starting there. It could be a small thing, but you will go far. Acts 4, 32 to 35. All things in common. Now, it reads, the multitude of those who believed were of what? Hanat and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own. But they had all things in common. See, I super the same scripture here. Mm -hmm. And verse 33. And with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Verse 34. Nor was there anything, nor was there anyone among them who lacked. Ah! Hey, Asimen Konapana. Anyone among them who lacked. So, Babe Kangilan, which you, Katuasuela, Usuelan, Angla South, Nanti South. Hey, Namkanjan Lanyama, Nancy Yam. Hey, Angla Pasfe, Nancy Pasfe. Hey, Kwa Kotola, Angla Akama Jacket, Nancy Akama Jacket. Hey, Lavate, Isao Yakama, Lavaka, and Lavati. Ah, she thinks Yakama Ulaman, Nancy Akam. But Kangelan is really less much how. Sis, the week is it, Tinagan Gangan is Luke Senkuk. Nancy week. Kangeli week, you mean to a Kulu week, and Lutheran's friends. Would you get a week lazy, Tinu apparently? You will have a week of watch or overnight, I watch or is it? I've got yeah, she week is sure. Yes, she. We are born and I see for who was a bit in here. Nanya Kuruma, I did send Tinny Wemina. So, Ukangi, you would take weekly and as it in you, and then he help your fellow sister. Yeah, it make up lava like, tangi make up. Utobo moon, you know, you from in bank or on Bama Lizard, Utah Tobegan, I was doing. In Teru to go to be. Where the coverish session, eh? It saves the Utuana Makovian and Nantia Retian. Similar about two lower names in the pitches. On two of a Kurukur. I wanted to look at you and say, Kunjan in two of a Kurukur. Mwa pila banya ba play nanti, pata banya ngontulo. Tamba kura roe ramzoro basi. So they had all things in common. Say amen. All things in common. Verse 35. And where did they lay them? They laid them at the apostles' feet. And they distributed to each as anyone had need. They are quoted a lot of us. I think I keep by Billy Bala digging the Willis Funa. Leanna, a truth here by Billy. Baby share. He early church, he church here these days. I share. Omunia Lumunus Bonel, Mas Bonel, Ubo Peleak, Ubo Pele, Alan Dabal, Utavan Basuela, Kumbaba Suel, Alan Dab. The Bonus is what is his parcel upon any any umpi in Malignan in the spirit. They want to carry it. Hey, we need. We are Puma Hambenchar. I'm Buzang and Nitiak. But in things, it is what opinions. Don't you feel good? Um, dang, um, for something. Um, when a cat, which would you have it to be? We have it to be. Um, a billet is in a land. I will visit a conoco bill. You're going to pick one. Hi, Panamoya. Tell you never Panamoya. We na. Eh, Panamoya. In the name of Jesus. Consider the ability of the early church to take care of each other. What a church. They knew how to take care of each other. Hi, Manchester Labo Pagat Great Lab. Ogmele Wena Lami Lao is Bakang. Quietly, Mdenga Boninje, Umbambis is something with Tengusis. 
ability to give you back, you feel satisfied. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, true story. All my stories are true. Mm. Yeah. In Kalagat, Gumboyne is to the Wabalo. Hey, in Kalagat is as easy green as he oranges is as in Kalagat will be in a pocket. Hey, not ye, Lapaza Hollies, not in Fulado. What a shock. So, Mapum to Mahate was about going in a van. Ababusis Gakun. Nabasum Lino Arches Angum Chelang upon to Lena Jerati Um to encosing no figure like But I figure a pillar of a salary. So they didn't wait for the care ministry to bless, they didn't wait for compassion ministry. No, they themselves saw the needs and blessed each other. I tell you, when the church begins to be like this, God will empower any church. And any individual. Number six, they were positive. Now, don't take that word too far when I say positive. I will explain what I mean. <laughs> they were what? They were positive. Acts 2, 47 says, they were praising God. This is a simple clue to their joyful optimism. What a church. Not a people of worry or fear or pessimism. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. See, there are some people that are worry warriors. Mm. They worry about everything. Man, just goes out there. Got to see um, can do so happy. So, what you do with it? What you do with Peru? So, we are money. We are going to see how much. Ah, yes, I got it. Ah, is it like on? But who knows? You don't want to see. You don't analyze. But you are confused. You analyze. I saw you want to see. But busy. You don't want to see. You. I got you to see. Hey, hey, hey. We are going to go. 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 We are going as yet to summon to us is book you want to win the handicap. Who's to pay that in a touch of the pens? Hey, Chiana Loco, celebrate what God is doing now in the name of Jesus. Who's really good to one? Good to one with a pummy sick, couldn't get in your toy chick, and go a pummy chick, who's a guinea fig. Hi, 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 hi. You know this one thing. Worry will never change anything in your life. If you begin to consider it, it will never change anything at all in your life. So rather spending much time in worrying, spend much time in rejoicing. Find the Bible. And begin to read the book of Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. As I'm being better. Yeah? I as each child would. The Lord in Bono to Mamma Pofias. Catibaba for Murasu Kicho Pirapan. Number one. The Lord is I. House of a The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Let me tell you what that word means want. I shall not lack a need. I may have a need, but I know ultimately my God will supply. I shall what? Not lack a need. Verse 2. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. You can be in a desert place financially. 
but God can turn that desert into an oasis. Say amen. I see God coming through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Especially in the month of August, you are going to rejoice. Especially <laughs> He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still waters. Verse 3. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Oh, I love verse 4. Say, yeah. yeah. Say it again. Say, yeah. yeah. One more time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow. Notice, it's not the valley of death. It's the valley of the shadow. Shadows diminish under the sunlight. The sun is Jesus. They will disappear. Say amen. I will what? Fear no evil. something we are the All my stories are true. <laughs> That's microphone. All my stories are true. So long prayers are such When you are moving in city, one zombie sent in Umpinam, they laughed. So there you are. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will what? Fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Verse 5. You prepare a table for me, or before me, in the presence of my name. Hallelujah. Yeah. This really has many meanings. It means that your enemies who wish you ill will be shocked. Yeah, who's a surprise every time. When they think you are down, you are up. When they think the enemy has put you down, they see you lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn around now, look at your neighbor and say, I see you going far this year in the name of Jesus. I see resources coming to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Verse 6 now. Oh, verse 5. Is that so? Surely, verse 6. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell at Harvest House International Church all the days of my life. Please take your seats. Let me give you three more, then we can pray. So they were positive. Mm. They were positive. Did I give you number six? Yeah, that's the number six I gave you. Eh? All right, so we're going to seven now. But I haven't finished number six. There's a scripture there. Psalm 30, verse 5b. They knew this one thing. They understood the power of the scripture. Weeping may endure for a night. Ha, ya, 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 ya. Weeping may endure for a night. Say it with me one more time. Weeping may endure for a night. Which would you want to see, ma? Bubuya just for a season. But always understand that there's a better season that is yet to come in the name of Jesus. At times when you're in a bind, you may think that that's the only season that you'll ever experience. Ask those that have gone through hardships. There is always a tomorrow. Tomorrow, 
tomorrow. There's always a tomorrow. Oh, I love you tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Because tomorrow cometh. Today may appear difficult, but tomorrow comes. Touch your neighbor's shoulder and say, tomorrow by this time. Say it one more time. Say, tomorrow by this time. I see you smiling from ear to ear. Some of you ladies that are single, hey. Look at that single lady and say, receive that prophetic word. It will help you. Tore, tore, tore. Tore, tore. Even when I tore, tore. Hey, hey, but we have a name, Ubusuketa. May God prosper you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's deal with number seven quickly. Number seven, number seven, number seven. They were attractive. <laughs> what a change. They were very attractive. The believers in the early church were very magnetic. So when you saw them going into the house of God, you wanted to accompany them. Even if you didn't know where they were going. We hmm. are around them. We are cool, he said, we'll sell around them. We'll just give him and Joe was funny around you. But we'll have you about to see me do it. I want a hand, but who would say soon, JV? Sweet old lunch. These were winesome believers. Yeah, beautiful believers. So, just as Jesus had, they won the favor of the general public. The public loved them. Luke 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in favor. Ah, that's his well again. In, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with man. Acts 2, 41. And those who gladly received his word were baptized. And that day about 3,000 souls were added. When the churches, all these components that we're talking about, People begin to talk. Say amen. So they never allow the gospel message to become bad news. Never. It remained good news and attractive message. Number eight. They were very anointed. Stand again. They were anointed. These men and women were full of the dynamic life of the Holy Spirit. Saturated under the power of the Holy Spirit. They had these anointings that they enjoyed. They enjoyed corporate anointing, imparted anointings, anointing by association. Hey, as men go anointing by association. Hey, talk to your neighbor now and say, that's why it's very important to choose your company right. Mm. There is an anointing that comes by, I have a message, anointing by association. There is an anointing that comes just by hanging around with the right people. The right people fika la wenje. So chinchi mindset ya kwanti. Eh, wata lukangi la bantu pela la bana. Eh, tatala mili chonchi we. Ay, tatali loto. Ay, ay, ay. Say, tanilege tatala kenele. Ay. Say, amen. They were anointed. I will show you scriptures, therefore, that prove to the fact that these were anointed. Let's find these scriptures. Acts 2, verse 4. And they were 
all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 4, verse 8. And then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 6, verse 3 to 5. Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you seven men of good reputation. But watch this now. Good reputation. Full of the Holy Spirit. Full of the Holy Spirit. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then verse 5. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and full of the Holy Spirit. Acts 7, verse 55. And he being full of the Holy Spirit, that's Stephen, they're stoning him, gazed into heaven and saw the glory. Acts 9, verse 17. And Ananias went his way and entered the house, laying his hands on him to Paul, brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you came here sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 11 verse 24. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit. Pork chop. It told me. On fusion. I'm a clip. I'm a sick. 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 What are you full of? These men were full and women were full of the Holy Spirit. Acts 13, verse 52. And the disciples were what? Filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. Acts 3, verse 19. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. So that times, wow, times of refreshing. What are times of the refreshing? When the Holy Spirit sweeps across. Times of refreshing. Lift up your hands and say, times of refreshing. May come from the presence of the Lord. Number nine. They were bold. I least that's my son. I'm a total of mama lava. Babbing a sabi nix. Zero. They were full of boldness. One of the characteristics, or one of the symptoms, rather, of being filled with the Holy Spirit is not only speaking in tongues, it's boldness. When you are full of the Holy Spirit, you are so bold. You don't fear. You don't fear at all. So I went to Makwala, which with the Hala Moyong. Look at you and say, Jing away is a bumpanka, which with the Hula Moyong. These men were fearless. That's why they were persecuted. That's why most of them were martyred. But they were fearless. Why? Because they were full of the Holy Spirit. Say, Amen. It is boldness. Boldness, boldness. Let's read X4, verse 13. I wish I had time here. Time is not on our side. X4, verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter. Watch the scripture now. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John. And they perceived that they were uneducated. They knew these guys are uneducated. They're fishermen. They said, but how do we relate this boldness with this man? Why are they bold before teachers of the law? Why? They perceived that they were uneducated and untrained. Men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus. Wow. Say wow. Now, Lord, look on their threats. They were threatening them. Grant your servants that with all boldness that they may speak your word. We are Saban Wena. Touch your neighbor's shoulder, please, and say, We are Shabisha in Guba, we are Shabish. We are Saban Wena. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? Acts 9, verse 27 and 29, two verses. But Barnabas took him, that is so, and brought him to the apostles. And he declared to them how he had seen the Lord on the road. And that he had spoken to him and how he had preached 
boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. <laughs> it's one of the items we are praying about today that you be bold in the name of Jesus. This covers me. I'm sitting here. Falanama window, Falanama window, Falanama kitten. As if you fall on my kitten, you could get stop his go. Sit so fusaka over Bumu, Kukulus, Baba Moon, Hamburg, I have an hour, Kukat, Mocha, which I fell apart. When I was chiefly discovered, I said, Boldness. You and I have authority in the name of Jesus. We can cast out demons in Jesus' name. They hear the voice of Jesus that is on the inside of you. Yeah, let's practice and say, Lucifer, come out. I assume God walk away. Then the Bible says, Lucifer, come out. Lucifer, come out. In the name of Jesus, leave my family. Leave my children. Leave the members of my family. Leave the members of this church. Go now. In the name of Jesus. Satani. Hambakachana. Nekamaliga chesu. Nyagunyatera. Insogo yako. La meto. Nzao kipelis tiloto. Nguchai nzebelez. How am I going to keep still to my mama? How do you action? What are you doing? You are going to go to the house. You are going to go to the house. You are going So he spoke boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus and disputed against the Hellenists, but they attempted to kill him. What a bold preacher this man was. Boldly. Boldly, boldly. Acts 14, verse 3. They, they, for they stayed long. They a long time. Speaking how? Speaking how? In the Lord, who was bearing witness to his word. Acts 8, 18, 26. So he began to speak how? Boldly in the synagogue. Acts 19, verse 8. And he went into the synagogue and spoke how? For how many months? Three months. Reasoning and persuading concerning the things of the kingdom of God. Acts 28 verse 11. Preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all what? That's Paul this. With all what? Confidence. But watch the scripture. Proverbs 28 verse 1. The wicked flee when no one pursues them. Touch your neighbor's shoulder and say, Who has I been? Tagaba, who has I been? What do you <laughs> Finally, they were progressing. What a progressive church. God dropped and downloaded new ideas in their lives. They will never stay. They will come up with new ideas that will shock many. Because the Holy Spirit is always dynamic. Say Amen. The early church quickly broke with the standard religious conventions of the day. They broke with them. Because during the early church, the synagogue was the place. But they decided, you know what? We need home groups. How can I the disciple soft time home groups? I can't say we're in church here, man. Hey, this is hey, I haven't what's here synagogue? Tina Sanganes in thing. Hey, I saw Benes in thing. I see a fucking man on meetings in thing. So they met. And then they began to increase in the name of Jesus Christ. When new ideas are birthed in the spirit, the church becomes dynamite. Creative thinking was allowed as well as inventive thinking. 
May God change the way you think. I will come on walk with you limited. We are guy. And Jane and Zigas is 18. I, I, I ask God to touch your mind. Ucheni lead and Ziga. Think creatively. Kabang and Jay, would you go to breathe upon my mind? Change my mind. Lift up your hands now. Touch your head. Let's start there as we pray. Say, Lord Jesus, change the way I think. Breathe upon my mind that I may think creatively in the name of Jesus. I thank you for touching me, touching my mind, downloading ideas for success in my life, success in my businesses, success in my everyday life. I thank you, Lord for that grace that is upon me. I refuse to have a darkened mind. I refuse to have a fearful mind. I refuse to lack capacity in my thinking. I declare today increase my capacity to think. May I think like Solomon who was a marine engineer a botanist, a songwriter, a dramatist, and all other things increase my capacity in the name of Jesus. May I think big. May many come and say, what type of a person is this? Where do you get your ideas? Even at workplace, may I contribute positively in the name of Jesus. Take away all limitations in my life. In the name of Jesus. May I think so broadly. Allow the Holy Spirit to infuse and inject himself into my mind. In the name of Jesus. I am not limited in my thinking. All darkness flees and the light of God shines upon my mind in the name of Jesus. Turn around and say, neighbor, you are such an intelligent person. I've never seen an intelligent. Even if you all live with Kalisa Konaput, you are very intelligent. Prayer items, please. They are coming through there while you stand. Prayer items. Yes, we read that scripture. Start look hands and say, I'm starting with you. You are praying for them, they are praying for you, but you are praying as well. Two things you are praying for them, they pray for you, pray for the whole church. Self rather and say, I'm so and so. We're so glad that you are in this place. You pray for them, they'll pray for you. Pray for each other. Don't spit on each other. Just look aside. But please. Lina, I could write again. Yeah, let's pray. Dear God, we are praying for strong relationships in this house. Oh God, that we be one accord that will identify many that you bring to us here, that will love them, that will embrace them, that will seek to know them, that will seek to greet them, that will seek to befriend them. Dear God, God of mercy, do a new thing in our midst. May joy well up in this house as never before. May the joy of the Lord be our portion. The joy of the Lord be our strength. In the name of Jesus, may the strength of the Lord be our life. One accord is what we declare. One accord, one accord. You state in your word, behold, how good and how pleasant it is 
for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity. It is like indeed oil that will come down from Aaron's head, down his beard. It is there where you command a blessing. We release, Lord, that spirit of relationships, sharing all things in the name of Jesus Christ. May your grace abound. May your grace increase in the name of Jesus. Increase us in this area of relationships, deep relationships, meaningful relationships, caring for one another, loving one another, embracing one another, looking out for each other in the name of Jesus. Oh, may your grace abound in Jesus' mighty name. May your grace abound in Jesus' name. Say amen. Now you are not leaving that point without practicing it. Yeah, let go of those hands that you are holding. Find someone you don't know. Introduce yourself to them. And there. Uh -huh. Say, what's your name? Say, I've always wanted to talk to you. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? People are lonely in churches. We want to make a difference. What is your name? Don't say you are legion. You are not legion. What is your name? Where do you stay? What do you do? Are you working? Mm -hmm. What is your name? Where do you live? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Any siblings? Any brothers and sisters? Why don't you invite them to church? Why don't you bring them to church? Talk to them. They need to know you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God of grace and mercy. Number two, number two, number two, number two. Find someone there. Maybe that person you have been talking to is the person that you are going to pray with now. Don't leave them there. Pray for vibrancy in our Christian lives. May God stay you up. May God create vibrancy in your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we pray for vibrancy? In Javulo J. Joy is contagious. It's an emotion that is contagious. If I come with my joy and you come with your sadness, I can tell you my joy will overcome your sadness. Pray for them for joy and they will pray for you and pray for the whole church. Pray for them for joy. They will pray for you. I didn't say joy, this joy, but pray for them for joy. They will pray for you for their joy. And then pray for the whole church. Shall we pray? Father, we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. The strength of the Lord is our life. Thank you for that joy that brings victory. Thank you for that joy that brings triumph. Ah, dear God, your joy strengthens us. Your joy fills us. Your joy saturates us. Oh, God of mercy, in the name of Jesus. Oh, dear God, dear God, the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Let that joy fill us. Let that joy saturate our minds. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. We honor you for the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord to fill this house. In the name of Jesus Christ. The joy of the Lord to fill this house. In Jesus' name. May the joy of the Lord be contagious. May men and women be affected by that joy. Oh, the joy, the joy, the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord. Hey, the joy of the Lord is my strength, and the strength of the Lord is my life. The joy that will lift you up, the joy that will change your mindset, the joy that will cause you to see the future in a better way. May that joy be your portion. In the name of Jesus, 
the joy, the joy, the joy, the joy of the Lord. Hey, may that joy tumble forth out of you in the name of Jesus. Number three, find a new partner. Number three, pray for focused minds and spirits. Focused minds. But you are focusing on Jesus. Uh, stop focusing on Satan. Lama Timon. When you focus on something, that something becomes bigger. If you focus on your lack of resources, you will find that you won't come out of that. Focus on Jesus. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Focus on Jesus. Hallelujah. Focus on who? Jesus. Focus on him. And they continue steadfastly. Be steadfast concerning the things of God. So you are praying that they will focus on Jesus. They are praying for you. But pray as well for the whole church. Father, here we are. We are those that will continue steadfastly in the teachings of the word of God. We look unto you, the greater one. We look unto you, the mighty God. We look unto you, the everlasting Father. We look unto you, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, our God. Father, we know that as we fix our gaze upon you, everything around us grows strangely dear. God of mercy, God of grace, help us to focus on Jesus. There are many things that will seek to steal our attention, but we refuse. We choose to focus on Jesus. We choose to focus on Jesus. Fixing our eyes upon Jesus. Fixing our eyes upon Jesus. We fix our eyes upon Jesus. May you be magnified, Lord Jesus, in our lives. May you be increased in our lives. Certainly you are bigger than our problems. And therefore when we look to you, oh, you are magnified. You are magnified. You are magnified. Dear God, dear God, we are focusing on your word. We are focusing on fellowship. We are focusing on prayer. We are focusing on covenant bills. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Put your hands together on number three. Find another partner now. We are praying for an unselfish spirit. To dominate our lives. And I'll show you what to do here. Find partner number three. Uh, four. Partner number four. Yeah. Say I don't know you. Please don't be offended. Mm. Yeah. But I know that every human being is selfishness in them. So I'm going to rebuke selfishness inside of you. Yeah. So I'm going to pray and break that inside of you. You are selfish. Mm. So all these things put together, if we were to summarize you, we are nicha nawena. So rebuke that spirit. Don't even joke around. Yeah, don't yeah, just say I know it's there and rebuke it. Rebuke this selfish spirit in them and release the spirit of selflessness in the name of Jesus. Now all who believed. We're together and do all things in common. Let's pray. Father, I want to deal with the spirit of selfishness. Selfishness that lies in me. That is dominant in me. I break its hold over my life. Over my mind. Over my spirit. Over my soul. It is no part in my life. In the name of Jesus. I pray for a generous mind. Generous spirit. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you teach me to be a giver. Teach me to sow. Sow seeds. In every season, in season, out of season, may I see needs and meet them in the name of Jesus. Give me such a grace, a grace that abounds, a grace that believes in soul. I pray for this church, that this church will be a giving church, giving to one another, giving to you in the name of Jesus. Release such a grace in our midst. Release such an anointing in our midst, an anointing to soul, an anointing to bless others, 
an anointing to give. Oh, gracious God, may that anointing flow in our midst. In the name of Jesus, oh God of grace, that wherever I see a need, I will be able to meet that need. In Jesus' mighty name, oh dear God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me in this regard. In the name of Jesus Christ, say amen. Say these words, spirit of stinginess, you are broken in my life. In Jesus' name, I will respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit pertaining giving. Where you prompt me to give, I will give without hesitation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Chinese, that this isn't getting away clean. Number five. Pray for increased anointing. Find the fifth partner. Pray for increased anointing. Pray that they will be anointed in Jesus' name. Pray that they will be full of the Holy Spirit. Saturated in the Spirit. Full, full, full. You're praying for them, they pray for you, pray for the whole church. Let's pray. Father, we are praying that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will fill this place. In the name of Jesus, fill this place with your anointing. Fill this place with your anointing. Oh, dear God, saturate us with your great anointing. May your presence, your Holy Spirit, times of refreshing be upon us. In the name of Jesus, times of refreshing be upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, anoint us anew, anoint us afresh. In the name of Jesus, it is the anointing that makes a difference in our lives. It is the anointing that breaks bondages in our lives. We shall be anointed with a fresh anointing. Dear God, Anoint us anew. Anoint us afresh. Oh God, you have said in your word, you found David, a man after your own heart, and you anointed him. In Jesus' name. Oh dear God, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercies that I knew every morning. Anoint this whole assembly. May we be anointed with fresh oil. May we be anointed with a new anointing. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Yeah, go back to your places. We're going home now. It's giving time. Don't forget this Sunday you are bringing an item. Anything. It could be a button. It could be in uh, it could be whatever but we are triggering the spirit of giving in the name of Jesus we have envelopes here we are taking tithes and offerings today these are the envelopes here alright you just need to lift up your hand and then we give you okay the envelopes thank you ma'am thank you give more <laughs> when I say give more give others that need envelopes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You're looking for envelopes. Start now. Practice giving. Giving is key. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, sir. There's an envelope. Thank you. Whoops. Who else needs an envelope? Everybody has. Please help me to write my name here. Mine too. And we are sewing. Don't forget Sunday, please bringing an item for someone. It's unscriptural. Busy tithe into the stores. 
yako over and above and say amen all right we are giving now we are ready to give but before we do that we want to pray pray for that seed the early church was a giving church anointing is correlated with your giving you notice that as god allows you to be a giver he anoints you too so be a giver in jesus name say amen now lift that envelope i want to pray over it lift it high and say this is my seed i one more time this is my seed i am planting it on very fertile soil i am expecting a bumper harvest in jesus name amen yeah let's come dinengalalu tukulukulu zalibusi salabali ngahlale church kona